So, this morning I'm just learning that uh, Kawhi Leonard is no longer a Toronto Raptor. He, Kawhi Leonard, who was a very instrumental part in the Raptors uh, winning the NBA championship, he has signed a four-year deal with the LA Clippers for $142 million. So that works out to $35.5 million per year. It's going with the LA Clippers. And I must say that I'm, I'm disappointed. I Almost in a way, I almost feel like Kawhi Leonard has turned his back on Toronto and turned his back on Canada. Because I personally think we... He helped us out, definitely, by winning the championship. Or being an instrumental part in winning the helping the Raptors win a champion their first ever uh, NBA championship which I'm very grateful for but also we helped him out as well too like um, he left the San Antonio Spurs under less than favorable circumstances there was one year that he was off for the majority of the year because um, due to injury. He came on board with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, we traded uh, DeMar DeRozan to the San Antonio Spurs for Kawhi Leonard. And I'll admit, I was quite, I was quite pissed off initially about that because at, at that time, Kawhi, DeMar DeRozan was our star player on the Toronto Raptors. And even though he might not be as talented a player as Kawhi Leonard, he was still a very good player. He was our star player. He was consistent, consistent in putting up good numbers and everything. He's been with the Raptors for many years. And he loved being part of Toronto. He loved being with, with the Toronto Raptors. And it's a matter of fact, at the time when he got traded to um, the... San Antonio Spurs he went as far as uh, saying that the Raptors lied to him so you could tell that he was pissed off too just like myself and many other Raptors fans were pissed off and I remember when Kawhi Leonard came on board I didn't even know how to pronounce his name I was calling him Cowie Cowie Leonard but um, and throughout the season I was critical of coach Nick Nurse with his load management where he would never play uh, Kawhi Leonard in two back-to-back -back games. <coughs> Kawhi Leonard always got to rest at least one got to rest for at least one day in between games. But anyways, um, we've won a championship and it turns out that Nick Nurse and Masai Yassiri, um the coach Nick Nurse and Raptors president Masai Yassiri, um were on the right track and knew they were, what they were doing since it got us an NBA championship but I felt that Kawhi like he appeared to become quite comfortable in Toronto his teammates welcomed him with open arms here in Toronto um like um he bonded very well with Kyle Lowry and all the other uh, teammates on the Toronto Raptors. The fans absolutely adored him, absolutely loved him. You know, he was called the King of the North. And not just fans in Toronto, but fans right across Canada absolutely adored him. And were absolutely delighted and thrilled about... Um, how talented a player he was and how how much he contributed to the Raptors. And the Raptors were willing to offer him more money than any other um, NBA team. We were giving him load management as well, too. He was even being offered, I think it was a $5.5 million uh, penthouse apartment on along uh, Toronto's Lakeshore, overlooking Lake Ontario. 
is being offered that $5.5 million penthouse apartment absolutely free of charge. He was being offered free food by numerous uh, restaurants around, around Toronto. Like, pretty much, Toronto was his oyster. He had the key to the city, and we were going to give him just about, we were prepared to give him just about anything he wanted, but he decided to turn his back on us and go to the LA Clippers for $35.5 million a season. I'm not too sure how much the Toronto Raptors were willing to offer him, but it's my feeling that the Raptors were willing to offer him more than, willing and able to offer him more than that. Now, the trade is just pretty fresh. I haven't heard any uh, interviews or press conferences with Kawhi Leonard, so I don't know the full his full reasoning behind going with L.A. I know a couple of things. A, his girlfriend and his family, like his girlfriend, his mom and his sister, all live in the L.A. area. I also know that Kawhi, I believe he has he has a home in the LA area as well too, a house, I'm not sure if it's a house or an apartment, but he does have a home in the Los Angeles area. And I know he doesn't like the cold weather, but I mean, he's making enough money that he doesn't even have to go out in the cold. He could have everything delivered to him. He could order out anything he wants, food, clothes, whatever, have it delivered to him at home. And any time he has to go out, he could have his driver warm up the car for him, pick him up from inside a heated garage, take him to an indoor area of wherever he's going, unless, of course, they don't have a garage that's able to accommodate the vehicle. But we were basically willing and able to do everything to accommodate Kawhi Leonard. And now he has decided to leave Toronto. So I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, like, yeah, Toronto still has an excellent team. We still have a lot of star. We still have a lot of very talented players. Um, in my opinion, our best player in Toronto right now, without Kawhi Leonard, is Pascal Siakam, or Spicy P. He really improved. He was the most important. He was awarded the most improved player in the NBA this season, and for good reason. He really came around, and I think he is on his way to becoming a superstar. Kyle Lowry came through very nicely during the playoffs as well, too. Serge Ibaka has done very well. Fred Van Vliet has also done very well. Danny Green's another one that's leaving. He's, going, he's signed with the L.A. Lakers. So I don't know... If Toronto will be able to will be able to make any any kind any kind of trades or acquire any new talent or anything, only time will tell. Like Masai Ujiri, Raptors president, um, I would say the guy is a sports genius. He obviously knows how to put together. He obviously ne knows how to put together. Um, a successful winning basketball team. Hopefully Masai Useri doesn't end up leaving us either because I know the, I hear the Washington Wizards have um, are interested in him and are trying to pursue him. So we'll only see what happens. It would be nice if Masai Useri has some kind of tricks up his sleeve. He might have a nice trick in his hat, but... Um, I guess until then, until we're able to, I think the Raptors should just keep their existing team right now, and then when the opportunity is right, acquire some more talent to replace uh, Kawhi Leonard. In my opinion, I'd say Kawhi Leonard is the most, uh, is the best player in the NBA right now. So I don't think we're going to be able to get someone who will be talented enough to fill his shoes. But only time will tell. I still have faith in the Raptors. Yes, we're still going to make the playoffs with our current team. I'm pretty confident with that. It's just, are we going to go all the way? 
that's going to be much more challenging because in the East, you still have a very talented Milwaukee Bucks team who was the top team in the, in the entire in the, in the entire league last season. Um, Jay-Z, the owner of the Brooklyn Nets, has made some major acquisitions, such as uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Philadelphia 76ers are also a very talented team. And in the West now, you have the LA Lakers and the LA Clippers. And don't forget the Golden State Warriors are still a talented team. So it's going to be interesting to see going forward. But it's just that my feeling is that, like I know Kawhi Leonard, it's his life. It's his decision, his family and everything. It's his... His choice, what he wants to do, but my feeling is that Kawhi Leonard uh, turned his back on Toronto and turned his back on Canada. That's just my opinion. I'm still a Raptors fan, though. Still go Raptors, go. We'll see what happens in the future. I still have faith in the Raptors.